was afternoon. So a little bit different. You joined me this afternoon at Cudmore Fishery and I'm here to do a 24 hour. Even the bivvy's up. So I was actually the last one here that's booked on tonight. So I had to get what I, the pegs I was, I was planning on coming on were already taken. And then I went down, the three pegs down the road bank and I was going to go on the middle one of them because there was a fish in the edge bubbling, swirling, it was clouds up like anything and as I was walking back around to the car I came to this little corner it's the bottom corner and uh, yeah, they were all in the edge here as well I was chatting to the guy next to me there was, well he's gone now and uh, he said they were swirling all, all under this tree which is to the right of me so it looked great for a bite I love a little corner the wind's supposed to be coming down this way tomorrow so and it's very warm it's very shallow so I'd imagine it'd be good for a morning bite but I'm already getting liners both rods out proper got a, got a proper sweat on putting them out <laughs> been a while since I've got to get down and set up my rods and a bivvy and everything but um both out now so uh let's see the next 24 hours bring but i'm still early yet so really i'm gonna sit back and have a look i've put some bait in i use the uh the deeper to find the deeper spot so i'm just on like 2.8 feet all the edges it's two foot and then over towards it's like a little peninsula which is a little bay which is just to the, the, just to the side of me the side here comes into the main body of water and that's two foot deep but I might I'm thinking I'm actually throwing some bait in there I might stalk that in the morning because there's a little platform there so we'll see but there are definitely fish in the, in the area I'm out I'm doing it I'm on the bank any updates I will let you know Just sat here watching the water. <clears throat> I've ended up, I've put my left rod towards the island. It's only six wraps. I'm about probably a rod length off the island. Still 2.83 2 feet. But there's loads of fish bubbling over there. Anyway, I've just seen a couple just lump out. And one probably a rod length to the left of where my, my left hand rod is. Oh, that was a chunk. 
lovely dark fish as well. Oh god. Anyway, that's the update. There are definitely fish in the area. Just got everything cross for a bite. Get a bite. I'll let you know. So it's getting dark now. I'll have loads of liners. I said a bit of a disaster. I think uh, after using the deeper, it's quite silty. Not deep silt, but there's certainly some silt on the bottom I found. So when I've been pulling rigs back in, the lead is plugged in. Anyway, so I tied a helicopter leader because I don't tend to use them on one. And the, the right rod, which is in the margin, I've just put a light lead on that. And that's now in for cats. Anyway, tied this helicopter leader. First cast cracked off. <laughs> So a bit of a paddy, threw me rod in the bushes, sat there for a couple of minutes and then tied another one. That's back out. So left rod is by the island at eight wraps. Still getting a few touches on that. Right rod is now on double gloved uh, heist boily. And I'm hoping that's really for the catfish. That's on a longer rig with a long hair. But as you can see, it's now getting dark. And uh, let's see what the night will bring. So we don't see the night with the fish. I'll see you in the morning. And good morning. So, no fish overnight. Although I've literally had no sleep because I was getting bleeps all night, most of the night. And then one, at one point, I think I had an aborted run on the left hand rod. Anyway, I've put fresh bait out on the spots, freshly done the rigs, and they're now out. It is um, six o'clock, just quarter past six in the morning. So uh, I've also baited up the bait to my left because I might bring in one of the rods and just go round in a bit and drop a rig in there for a bit because they were definitely in there last night. Oh, I didn't really hear much overnight. Once it got dark, it seemed to quiet up. Uh, heard, probably the only thing I heard, but again, it wasn't late into the night, up till midnight, was a catfish sloping at the top, taking, obviously taking small fish and stuff off the top, but anyway, both rods are back out. So hopefully I'll catch up with you in a bit with a fish. So this is it, one rod left to bring in, and it's a blank. Uh, it was dead this morning, it's about one o'clock, and then all of a sudden the fish were about, but come by a bite, tried a few different spots, casting it, showing fish, tried singles, pop-ups, wafters, snowman, variety of colours, bottom baits, glove bottom baits, and they're still turning at the bottom now, but so just want to pull this last rod in and still can't break this blanking streak but if you've got this far thank you for watching please don't forget to like and subscribe and i'll see you on the next one